Las Vegas Aces Road to Excellence. It took some time before relocating to Las Vegas. The San Antonio Stars, they went 23 and 79 in three seasons. That was from 2015 to 2017, prompting the team to be put up for sale. So it was time to reshuffle the deck. It is official. The Aces will be bringing in the new year with a new coach. Becky Hammond is beloved here in San Antonio, but the Aces, well, they just made her a deal she could not pass up. Paying Becky Hammond a million dollars is demonstrating where the WNBA needs to be in going after and getting quality coaches. Becky Hammond earned every penny she's about to get paid because of her lifetime work in the WNBA. As a player, I've never been more proud to represent a franchise and play for someone that really just empowers you to be the best version of yourself. And she really got to know us as women, as people, and then she started telling us kind of what she wanted out of us as a player. And I think for me, that means the world because I know exactly what you want out of me and I can give that to you. There it is. Good. That's nice, Asia. It's exciting to see how hungry the players were, how they were holding on to every word, every situation that Becky and her staff were putting them in. I was seeing a team that really was going to go to the next level. We knew that we were going to be a good group in the beginning just based off the chemistry. When you want to win a championship, you have to have players that are buying in and want to be here. How you feeling? Ready to play? I bet you are. <laughs> I love our team. I love our energy. I love our competitiveness. Obviously, we're banged up and we really haven't gone against real defense because it'll be our first test at Minnesota. Yes. Like structure. Like organized defense. Yeah. Although I don't worry about us offensively. I worry about transition defense on the boards. We went very, very hard, which was really good for our girls just to have that competitive edge before the start of the season. We took advantage of it. We can't worry about what other teams are doing. We're only worried about Vegas and it really showed. Everybody was at the top of their games. I think that's what kind of set us apart at the beginning of the season, just because you could see the way we spaced the floor and pushed the ball and played together early on. I think that's why we had such a hot start. There's so many different ways this hot Aces team can score the ball and hurt you. It was incredible to see them just blast out and do so well. And really, that's a tribute to their dedication to the new offense, um, their trust in Becky. You can tell by the way we play, everyone's out there having fun. We really share the ball, everyone can shoot it, everyone can score the ball. Whenever you play like that and you're playing so freely and unselfish, um, it just makes the game fun for us and I know it makes it fun for the fans to watch too. The secret ingredient is definitely establishing roles and holding each other accountable but understanding that it might not necessarily be equal, but what's our end goal? And I think that's what helped us out a lot of pushing a lot of things inside and being like, we're not here for this. Just go out there and play your hardest and bring whatever you have within you, leave it out there on the court. You can't just say, we're just gonna shut down Asia Wilson because there's so many other weapons on the floor. And that's a good problem to have as a coach. Like, who is my go-to? Young. Puts it out, gets a beautiful mid-range jumper. Jackie Young having a night. She is one of the best in the WNBA. Puts it up, oh, yes! It's Jackie understanding how good she is and how much further she could be. I quickly connected with Tyler and we spent a lot of time in the gym together. Uh, made a few tweaks with my shot. Because that was really the only missing piece was just being able to knock down the three consistently. Jackie Young has more threes this season than she had in her first three seasons combined. That is just mind-blowing. Jackie Young was a part of that guard trio, ever so effortless in that move. You talked about her being in the conversation for most improved. She's averaging 16 a game. You have to pick your poison when you're defending this Las Vegas Aces team, especially on the perimeter. At any point, any one of them can go off and take over a ball game. Their offense has been playing at a historic pace. Most points ever scored through eight games in league history. You tied a WNBA record for threes. You wow. have 18 as a team. You've broken franchise records are just flying out the door. Becky Hammond is here as part of this franchise. Natalie Williams, who's the general manager, is here as a part of this franchise. Jennifer Azey is here on staff, was a part of this franchise. And these players that are on the floor right now are breaking 
those three players' records. I mean, the top six players on this Las Vegas Aces team have all improved their numbers. And I think it's a direct correlation to the system that they're playing in right now and the way that they have all elevated their game chasing a championship. Takes it back. Sticks it. This team is a little silly and they do some crazy things which is great for the game. It's great for our fans to see them being their authentic self. That's Bucket. Give my money. Oh, Chelsea! When Chelsea Gray hits the half court shot, oh, yeah. the knee dance. Thank you. We just started having fun out the gate. I think you saw that throughout the season. Either we were doing the tortilla challenge or we were just running in our runouts for our warm up. Like that's what started the quest, is just us being us, and we just really had a great locker room. Starters getting some time to show us some of their moves off the court. I've been talking to some family and friends, and I'm like, these girls are funny. Like, the things that come out of their mouths. My name's Teresa, I'm 29, I'm gonna tear this course up. <laughs> you should see what we don't put on camera. And when you have someone like a Sydney Colson that's in a locker room that always keeps the mood lightened, I think that is a sign of a championship team. We have genuine fun. Like, it's not forced. It's not something that has to, like, turn on in front of the cameras. It's, like, genuinely just how we are in the locker room with nobody around. Like, it's more uncensored in the locker room, but we really like each other. That's why you can see, like, the genuine excitement from like the bench when we're cheering for people. You just see that there is a love around uh, the organization and it kind of just flows outward from there. Oh, y'all, we're in unison. I love us. Let's work hard, play hard, and have fun because this is a moment in their life and it will go by quickly. I speak from experience. It goes by in a flash. So, we're twins, right? You gotta get this. You don't have to <laughs> I've never in my life, and I've been on some crazy teams. Like, we had some crazy personalities. But last year's team, the 2022 Aces team, craziest team ever. But I love them to death. <laughs> the aces setting the tone kelsey plum was red hot early in this ball game. kelsey plum is feeling it becky hammond said she is the single hardest worker male or female i have ever been around and that is such a compliment coming from becky hammond and, and really a tribute to kelsey plum and the work that she puts in every single day how do you find your individual rhythm when you're on a squad where anybody can go uh, Roz, i don't care about that we suck on defense we're not rebounding get them second chance points they're too good uh, so we got to do a better job on that. The offense will come. The defense got to be consistent. Well, that just shows you how competitive Kelsey Plum is. That is what drives her. She doesn't want to lose a contest in practice. Doesn't want to lose a competition between the lines. She's just a player that wants to win so bad. Hell yeah, Jesse! Come on, Jeff! Good rebound, baby. Good rebound. Aye. And one! That's an end one, baby! She had expectations. She wanted to be able to be a starter. She felt like she could be a go-to player. And then sometimes being selfless, not taking the shot, making the extra pass. And it's something that Becky talks about all the time, going from good to great. Hard work always pays off. And I think if there was ever like a photo, if you ever looked up the, the statement, hard work pays off, I mean, Plum's picture should be right there. She took on the role of, I'm about to show the world who I am. The lights are on. Go do you. Plum having a career year for the Aces. She became this player that when she was breaking down the defense and the rotations were coming, she was hitting the right play. She was making the right play action. And it was, it was just beautiful to watch.
disappointment here in Las Vegas for these fans. First time they've had back-to-back -back losses on the season. In order to win a championship, you're going to have to go through Washington, Chicago, Connecticut, getting great experience. What matters now for them is to finish strong on the road in Minnesota.